guys, welcome back to Clever Music. We have a special edition show going on right now. I'm Misty, of course, but I'm joined by the fabulous ladies of Clever TV, Jocelyn Davis. Hey, everyone. guys. Dana Ward, everyone. Thanks. So Misty. we're here to talk about the 40th anniversary American Music Awards. They're happening this Sunday, November 18th, 8 p.m. on ABC. We're going to pick some of our favorite categories and predict who we think will win. Right, guys? I love looking into the future. The fans, <laughs> the fans actually voted for this mm -hmm. one. Right. So voting is closed, right? Yeah, it's closed. It's closed it's down. Done. But that's a huge deal. I mm -hmm. love that the fans got to vote. Yeah. So there's actually a pre-show happening mm -hmm. on Sunday um, at 5 Eastern, so 2 Pacific, live on YouTube. And like Jason Derulo is going to perform. Lance Bass will be there. Sai is getting oh, some wow. special award. So that's a big deal. I and love then, Cy. isn't he just amazing? <laughs> He's Sai. He's taking over the world. Sai. Yeah, right. taking over the world. <laughs> Um, and then at the actual show, you guys, it's going to be the most epic concert. I mean, Justin Bieber's performing, Nicki Minaj, Taylor Swift, Linkin Park, Pink, no doubt, like pretty much anyone that's oh hot right goodness. now is performing. How do these performances usually compare to like the VMAs or the Grammys? Like what's special about AMA performances? AMA performances are definitely not as over the top, but uh -huh. um, they're live. They usually sound amazing. It's definitely more classy award mm -hmm. show, but it is voted by the fans, so it's obviously a lot of fun too. I feel Sweet. like when I think of the AMAs, I think of just the best concert you could ever go to, yeah. hands down. And it's different maybe from like the VMAs or some of the other award shows that we really love that tend to really push the envelope because right. there's a wider array of artists as far as ages mm -hmm. and genres. Yeah, because I mean, you know? Carrie Underwood's also performing, mm -hmm. so there's country and hip hop and everything mixed into one. Yep. So I there's totally something agree with you. for everyone with the AMAs. Yeah, that's nice. exactly right, you guys. So now let's get into some predictions. Let's do it. We're gonna start with favorite female artists in the pop rock category. Now last year they only had three nominees in every category, but this year there's four. Oh. We're not sure why, but we like more choices, right? More talent. Yeah. yeah. So here's the nominees for favorite female artists. Kelly Clarkson, Nicki Minaj, Katy Perry, and Rihanna. Initial thoughts, ladies. I'm totally gonna bring up another award show, the People's <laughs> Choice Awards, because the nominations just came out this morning. Right. And the fans actually got nominated um, for like, Best, Best fan fandom. following or something. And Katie Cass, we're in there. So I'm voting for Katy Perry because since the AMAs are fan voted, right? Good point. They're so amazing, the fans. And Katie had an awesome year as well, which I'm sure you guys can yeah, her movie chit chat a little bit about. There's no arguing <laughs> Katie's fan base is right up there with Directioners and Believers and the whole like of the hugest fandoms out there. But oh, this is such a tough category because yeah. all of these girls, women, are global megastars, hugely successful in the pop world and beyond. I personally just saw Kelly Clarkson for the first time live this year and it was essentially a religious experience. <laughs> I mean, I want to be best friends with her. I don't know yeah. if that denotes her winning in this category, but right. you have Nicki Minaj with the Navy. I mean, she's all over the place yeah. right now. Yeah, so who do you think will win? What's your prediction? Oh uh, gosh, Nicki Minaj. I kind of do think Nicki Minaj is going to win, and that is because of all the conversations that you and I have had about her recently. Yeah. And you are my personal music <laughs> expert, and I feel like you think she's going to win. Um, Ooh, actually, Missy. I'm going to shock you guys right here. I'm picking neither of the artists that you guys oh, pick. Oh, who are you going with? I am going with Rihanna. Okay. okay, now last year, Katy Perry lost this category. She was nominated, she lost. And mm -hmm. also, I'm a little surprised that Taylor Swift isn't nominated. Oh, yeah. I'm also surprised that Kelly Clarkson is nominated mm -hmm. because I feel like Nicki Minaj, Katy, and Rihanna are all on the same level, and I, I don't really see Kelly fitting in there yet because she's not at the highest level like they are. Okay. So I'm going with Rihanna because she's had so many singles come out this year. She is such a hard worker. I mean, I really think that the Navy is going to pull it out for her. I'm going with Rihanna. Good choices. Yep. Mm, There's okay. no losers here. Let's move on to our next category. Favorite album in the pop rock category. So nominated is Justin Bieber for his Believe album, um, Ruin 5's Overexposed, Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday, Roman Reloaded, and One Direction's Up All Night. So this is the most eclectic category. I feel like there's all different types of artists like, nominated in How this How do you one. compare? It's going to be so hard. But thoughts? Hmm. What's your initial thought? My initial Gut. thought, I circled because this is how you vote for the AMAs. <laughs> I circled Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know we just discussed why she's so amazing, but that's my initial thought. I think people are gonna vote yeah. for Nicki Minaj. I actually agree with that. I picked her because she's had the most singles off this album. Oh, interesting. That's how I picked. She's interesting. had five. 
And well, she, I feel like she's on the Ellen show like every other <laughs> week too. So that's a whole nother demo that's going to be voting for her. True. Exactly. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Well, I disagree. Okay, please do. Um, oh. I'm actually going to go with Maroon 5 in this category. Really? Because they exemplify both pop and rock. And they have sure. been on the scene I mean, I don't know exactly the timeline, but I'm pretty sure they've been performing like since Bieber was like before he was born. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, and they continue to evolve and change and their fan base continues to grow and they have a platform on television now with Adam Levine. The voice. Mm -hmm. Being on The Voice. and He's getting tons of promo from that, obviously. And I think it's he's exciting. It's American Horror Story, too. Exactly. That's right, that's right. And I think it's been really exciting to see an established band like them continue to evolve and grow and not, you know, go down these rock star paths we hear of on like VH1 behind the music, True. like crash and burn. They're so. like good boys. <laughs> and from, from a musical standpoint, I mean, as far as sales and that kind of stuff, they're doing great. Yeah, payphone, one night, all that stuff. And they're really hot. Yes, they're very cute too. <laughs> all right, so we're a little torn on that one, but me and Dana agreed on Nicki Minaj, but maybe it'll go to Maroon 5. Maybe. Okay, now for the last category that we're going to predict. This is a big one, you guys. Huge, big one. Artist of the Year. The most coveted award of the night. Do you know who won last year? Um, I believe Taylor Swift won last year. Okay. Wow. So, now, here's the nominees. Justin Bieber, Drake, Maroon 5, Katy Perry, and Rihanna. Now, you can't deny that they all deserve it. Yeah. Commercially, they all deserve it. But who do you guys think will win? I'm gonna go with Katy Perry because she did have a huge year with her sales, breaking records. She had her movie. She had so many different things, her products, her perfume. Her tour. And she had, mm -hmm. she had a tough personal year as well mm -hmm. and she's back on top. Everybody else here did a great job. I feel like Justin Bieber should be nominated next year in this category after his tour is completed. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I mean, I'm a big fan of his as well. Yeah. I was actually gonna say Justin Bieber, if we are talking about records and sales mm -hmm. and I guess what you really look to if an artist is being successful or not in the music industry. Right. He's definitely been there, he's done it, he's had a very successful year. And again, it comes down to fan votes. Right. True. His believers yeah. are so intensely passionate, and I really think they're going to be online voting for him. That's or they yeah. were online voting for mm -hmm. him. Yeah. Now, I would love to know, you know, bring my girls in there and say that Katie or Rihanna would win, but yeah. I'm actually going to go with Justin Bieber. I know that might kind of surprise you guys, but if you do look at the fan bases, he's so incredibly popular, and that's what you have to look at because mm -hmm. the fans are voting. He did debut yeah. a new sound this year, which I think is great. His new album is great. I think Justin's gonna take Artist of the Year. That would be really exciting. I wonder if he will be, if he wins, if he would be the youngest Artist of the Year. Possibly. For the I don't know that answer. But that would make a lot maybe. of sense to me. We'll have to look in the history books. Yes. 40 years in the making. Yeah, 40th anniversary. Big deal, you guys. Yeah. Okay, well, let us know what you thought of our predictions and leave us a comment in the comment section of this video. Tell us who you think will win Artist of the Year, because we want to hear what you think. It's all about you guys. <laughs> all about <Thanks>. the fans. <laughs> Of course, and of all about Giles and Dana. Thanks oh, for joining. well, thank you. Thanks for having us. This is fun. <laughs> this is so fun. I know. <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>